Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate this. I'm so uncomfortable. You bitch. Was that you? Oh. Oh no. It's like when you talk like shit about someone and then like you realize they were there the whole time. This is so uncomfortable, but like I find it amusing. That's so awkward. He has nowhere to turn though on this road. He can't stop it. No way. This is so messed up. Do you know how much work he put into that? <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> What do you think of her reaction the moment she realized that it was him? Oh, what a sweetheart. I feel like I can really relate to her, because that's totally something I would do. I guess she just felt like a dick. Saw it whatever there was to it. I think it looks like, like a small puppy had died. Her world was shattering in the car. Like, her whole body was falling apart. Do you sympathize with her at all for feeling this bad, or do you feel like she had it coming? I sympathize. I completely sympathize with her. Everyone's been in a situation where you accidentally text the wrong person. You know, you're talking crap about someone and then you text it to the person you're talking crap about on accident like everyone's been in this situation before I think so I think anyone could sympathize with this horrible thing that I've just had to watch can you talk about how in life especially when you're younger you'll sometimes say something without even thinking about it and then immediately regret that you ever said it because <laughs> you hurt someone's feelings like right away <laughs> yeah, that's really awkward when you just say something and you don't mean to. I think there's so many times I've said things like that and I've just been like, oh, why did you even talk, Candy? Just don't say words. I've had an experience similar to this when I was young and I remember it was my birthday and my boyfriend didn't really plan anything or so I thought and I was like, you didn't plan anything for me. Like, I planned a big birthday for you. And then later that night he had like a whole thing and I just, one time I was on a date in high school and I, I said to him, oh, I, I went on this horrible date once where a guy took me to the beach and there were candles everywhere and rose petals and it was just like, oh, it was just so corny. And he got really quiet and then half an hour later he took me out onto the beach and he had done the same thing. So I was in a play with this girl and she had very, 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 very fair eyebrows. So I go up to her backstage and I'm like, hey, um, why don't you have any eyebrows? And she's like, what? I done did it and I felt terrible about it. If you're out there and watching this, I'm sure you know who you are. I'm really, really sorry. I'm a fucking idiot. Kids are stupid. Have you ever said anything to someone that you instantly regretted after? Yeah, I can't say it on here though. <laughs> <laughs> it was that bad? Yeah, it was really, really bad. Did you go to prom? I did. I went to prom when I was a freshman because a senior asked me. So I was like that freshman. I felt really cool. Yeah, somebody asked me. It was kind of like the day of though, so it was kind of weird. I did go to my prom. My boyfriend didn't go to the high school at the time. I had to like ask him and he broke his arm so he has a cat. Our picture's like the po- he's like can't move his arm. Like we couldn't even dance. He had this big cast. It was like, ugh, it was awful. Looking back on the whole idea of prom and how it's built up, how do you look back on it? Oh no, I loved prom. Prom itself? Stupid. It was the worst. All I was concerned about was the after party. I feel like there should be a lot more just fun dances, because everyone wants to dance. They were just always a technicality. Like, you had to get the corsage, you had to do this, you had to, because it's just, it's tradition. I mean, now I feel like the prom is like a mini wedding in your life. Like, I was doing my own hair and makeup and it looked bad, but now girls like go get their makeup done and get their hair done. I think my entire high school experience in general, I wish I would have had more fun with it. Why do you think in today's world, the idea of having to ask someone to prom in such a huge way has become the trend? Maybe because girls are like, I am spending so much money on this dress and my makeup and my hair, you better do some tricks to get me to go. It's probably just the fact that everyone shares everything. Like back before the internet, you wouldn't feel the need to do that. I think social media, man, was like a big part of what made it a thing. Cause now everybody like wants that promposal that goes viral. You see other people doing cool stuff and it's like, dang it, that guy on the internet though, he did that super cute thing. Ugh. Can't just ask Jackie now. Mm. I think we all can blame Jason Pitts for Jason all of Pitts. this. Jason, our mutual Jason friend. Pitts. Jason Pitts, if you're out there, this is your fault. Finally, would you have said yes to a proposal like this? Or do you think it's kind of a lame way to ask? <laughs> no, I would have said yes, of course. He was a dog. 
horrible. Plus, you know, all that money he's making off these YouTube hits, he can get the limo. I'm pretty sure I got asked the problem via text message, so if anyone went the extra mile, I'd be down. I think it's all about the person. If it's the right person, you're probably gonna say yes to them no matter how they ask. I feel like I had to almost pay my boyfriend to go with me at the time, so I would, have, if he threw a piece of paper at me that said, do you wanna go, I'd be like, yes, yes. I think it was a sweet gesture. A lot of people are afraid to take that extra step, you know, because they don't want to look stupid. And I feel like if this guy was willing to go through all that to be a sweet boyfriend, like, you know, it's cute.